All right, what's up everyone? This is the VS Chick and today I am going on a road trip to uh, test out my camping skills. I honestly have no idea how this is going to go because I've, I've never done this before. <laughs> I just bought some stuff online and um, yeah, I guess I'll find out once I get there if I'm, you know, if I've got everything that I need. So yeah, I've got a backpack on that weighs a ton. I've got tank bag and I've got a tail, tail bag as well. I am actually going to be camping in my mum and dad's backyard. <laughs> so I'm going to do a trip, uh, so about an hour and a half trip uh, to get there. And yeah, I'm just going to find a nice shady spot underneath a tree or something. And um, I'll probably get judged a fair bit for that, but you know what? I don't really care. Gigantic bug. Dragonfly. I carried him here with me the whole way. <laughs> Just give it a shake. Alright, you can't see much, but I've got my gear off my bike and I'm gonna set up here. Okay, this is my little area. Yeah, here's my like little cooker thing. Got myself some mashed potato cooking, about to cook some snags, got coffee for the morning and uh, a nice selection of treats down here. So pretty pumped. Not bad for a first effort. Sausages are cooking and the potato is cooking. I'm going to put some butter in there and a little bit of milk and mash it up. Mash it up real good. So my snags are cooked. The mashed potato is done and I'm just cooking up the spaghetti now. So the spaghetti won't take too long I don't think. I might just crank it up a little bit. Alright, didn't take long. So now it's ready. Turn the gas off. Get my spag. <laughs> I'm actually really pumped with that. That's so cool. Gotta do some washing up later, but that's not bad for a little camp cooker. Motorcycle camp. Beast. Oop, just gotta get my, my rum out. I have some rum. Okay, dinner time.
I'm pretty happy with uh, with my first camping trip. There are a few things that I um, need to remember for next time, um, and there's a few things that I need to actually remember to pack. So um, I'm just going to run through them so that if you are a first time camper, you're going to try it out yourself. Um, you know, these might help you out as well, so we don't both make the same mistake. So the first thing that I totally forgot about uh, was water. <laughs> So that was pretty dumb. I mean, if, like most of the time, I would I would probably stay at a campsite um, just because it's like a, you know, cruiser bike or whatever. So I'd have access to water or I could just stop on the way and pick some up. But um, that, yeah, that was one of the first things I noticed. I was like, oh crap, I don't actually have any water. So um, I think there was another thing that I forgot to pack, but I can't quite remember what that is at the moment. Oh, um, cut, uh, I've got cutlery, but I forgot to pack. Um, I forgot to pack a plate cup and um, and bowl so my bad forgot about that I mean that's not the end of the world either I could have just eaten out of the um, the little saucepan things but I don't know it makes you feel a little bit more civilized when you're eating off of a plate um, another thing that I will definitely pack next time is like a uh, like a plastic bag, a couple of plastic bags or you know rubbish bins. So yeah into stuff that I need to purchase. Probably the first thing I would I would purchase is a um, a GoPro uh, tripod because it was just impossible to try and film and cook at the same time. Film and make the you know build the tent, film and blow up an airbed. <laughs> So there was quite a few things there that I couldn't film because I, I just needed two hands and there was no way in hell I was going to be wearing my helmet. It is not a helmets on challenge and I don't ever want to do that as a challenge because oh my god I'd overheat. I was dripping with sweat. It was, it was terrible. Another thing I need to buy is a table. So in the video you would have seen I had a little white table there um, but that was not mine. So yeah, I, I'm going to look online and see if I can find like a, a camping um, or hiking one, I should say, because they're quite a bit smaller and, you know, pack that on the trip because I don't think it would be easy to cook on the, um, just on the ground, like it just wouldn't be very comfortable. So I woke up um, during the night and I could hear something on the tent. I'm like, what the hell is that noise? I turned the light on and it was a toad <laughs> staring at me through the fly screen. It was so gross. Like, well, I tried to scare it away and it just wouldn't jump away. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna have to, you know, go back to sleep. It was actually like, I don't know, like 15 centimeters from my head. So that was gross can't really avoid that though um, but yeah that was a nice visitor in the night as for like the setup and how the night was oh man make sure if you are setting up if you're setting up a campsite make sure it's on flat ground I mean I thought that was flat ground but it was not even the slightest little um, you know slope makes you just feel like you're rolling off the edge of the earth it was not nice. I really found it an uncomfortable sleep last night. You know, maybe lay down on the air mattress first and just to feel if there's any slope at all because it, yeah, it just, it wasn't nice. I was, I was extremely uncomfortable. Also, um, don't fill your air bed up right, you know, fully hardcore. Don't blast it with air because you, otherwise you just feel like you're, you're sleeping on a board. So next time I'm just going to, you know, take a bit of air out of it so it's just a bit more comfortable because that wasn't nice at all. So basically I'm kind of happy with uh, like the cooking gear and that sort of stuff that I brought um, and bought. So I'm really excited about using that. I think that was just really fun to be honest. It made it just enjoyable. But the sleeping was, was not good and that tent I mean, it looks like a nice little tent, and most of, maybe if I'd I'd feel differently about it if, um, you know, if I had a better sleep. But I'm even thinking maybe I 
I should get a bigger tent because um yeah I didn't have anywhere to store my my gear oh this guy up here is being a little bit scary I don't know if you can see that but not the car directly in front but the car in front of that is like fully swerving all over the road um That's a bit odd. I might get a lantern just so that there's a bit more light. I got there a bit later in the afternoon um, yesterday, so I probably should have arrived a little bit earlier. Um, oh, and um, my Nano Presso is awesome. <laughs> So this morning I woke up and boiled some water and I made myself a coffee. Um, it was awesome. The Nano Presso, it, you know, if you're not a coffee drinker, you probably wouldn't give two hoots about it. But if you're if you like a coffee, it's pretty tasty. Um, I'm actually going to go on a trip next weekend. So this was the practice run. I might leave it there, I've been rambling for the last however long, um, give us a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!